Hello, COM113 Section 5 class. The artifact I chose for this assignment is a song by one of my favorite bands, A Day to Remember. The song is called Right Back at It Again. A Day to Remember is a punk rock band, and the song is extremely punk. Very punk in the sense of, screw you, mom and dad, I don't care about school, I'm going to be a rock star. I'm trying to appeal to that high schooler in all of us. Um, I really like it. I think it's very fun, energetic, rebellious, and it's one of my favorite genres. Um, I chose it because it's one of my favorite songs, and it has a fairly interesting, only single use of the word bitch. Um, so if you watch the music video I posted, uh, firstly, I would advise caution if you're grossed out easily. Uh, there's animated poop and other gross things. But if you watch the video, you see that it starts out with a man in the fancy mansion by a fire reading from a book and smoking from a pipe um, i think this is held in great contrast with the rest of the video when the rest of the video is quite silly um, not only is there as i said animated poop but there's a lot of bright colors the band members look like cartoon characters with very enlarged heads um, and there's odd fantasy moments like surfing on a wave of noodles the lyrics of the song um, like I said, are very 2000s punk. Um, it's about the band talking about how everyone in their life always said they were good for nothing. It would never amount to anything. Um, but now they're touring the country uh, with their buddies, all rock stars. Um, I'm right back at it again. Just like I've always said, is a huge part of the chorus. Um, you can imagine the band members screaming this at their childhood teachers. Uh, then at the very end of the song, you hear, I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about it. There's a pause, then, bitch. Um, not in a rock tone, as you can probably hear in the song, but almost like a church choir. Um, the video then goes back to the fancy man at the beginning with the pipe and by the fire. It's obvious they're trying to, again, make a contrast with the silliness of the word and with how straightforward it's used and how fancy the setting is at the end. Um, so there's a lot of uses of the word bitch. Someone might call someone a bitch because they're annoying, because they're rude or cowardly. Um, but then there's even worse uses, like calling someone a bitch because they're subordinate, referencing misogynistic views of man and woman relations in society. And finally, there is the use of the word bitch as simply a sexist slur, um, referencing its original use of female dogs. Um, and I don't think these are necessarily hard distinctions. I think, you know, more like a web, they all influence one another in some way. Um, I think the song, in the song, the use of the word bitch was more juvenile, just trying to be mean and immature. Uh, like I said, you can imagine the band members screaming the song at their teachers, at all the people who said that they were good for nothing. So I think the band members are telling them they're better than them. They're better than anything anyone ever expected of them um and they achieved that not by conforming to authority but by the but by being their authentic immature and silly self relating it to chapter five i think the use of the word bitch is a clear example of emotive language when you use bitch you're trying to convey your annoyance or other emotion about the person you wouldn't simply say i find this person annoying like a robot you would say bitch to clearly show your emotions about that person um, and your emotions to the people around you or to that person. Um, using bitch in this way is a lot more weightier and conveys a lot more emotion. Um, one insight I got from this assignment is the many uses of the term bitch. I always knew of its more sexist roots, obviously, but analyzing it like this really made me rethink its more casual use. Um, and it's just one of the words that I've tried to this is myself away from what I use a lot as a kid where you just say swear words because you think they're funny and it's making me even more so rethink and try to lessen its use in my vocabulary. Um, so that was my assignment. Thanks for watching.